We miss you. I hope you're having a great time at the cottage. See where we are right now? Ooh, we're in your bedroom. Look around. Where Ooh. are we? Ooh, we're in your bedroom. We wish you were here too. We would snuggle you up so good. So we're here to read you a story. Floaty. You must know this one because I got it from your mommy and daddy's room. So here we go. Floaty. <laughs> Mr. Raisin lived alone in a little house. Inside that little house, he loved to sew. Mr. Raisin didn't like anything else, only sewing. One morning, he found a basket at his front door. It had a note attached that read, All yours, too much trouble, good Mr. Raisin brought the basket inside. Blah. It was empty. Not really, though. Whiff, said something from above. Mr. Raisin looked up. Oh my gosh, it was on the ceiling? A puppy was stuck to the ceiling. That's craziness. Get down from there, shouted Mr. Raisin. He nudged the dog with his broom. The dog slid across the ceiling and into the other room. Mr. Raisin climbed onto a chair and grabbed the dog. Outside with you, he said. He opened the door. He was about to let the dog go, but he stopped. You'll just float away, won't you? Mr. Raisin brought the dog inside. This doesn't mean you're staying, he said to the dog, but I guess dogs need to eat, even annoying ceiling dogs. Mm. What's he doing? He put a bowl of cornflakes on the floor. Whiff, said the dog from the ceiling. Oh, you can't come down. Mr. Raisin tossed the cornflakes one at a time into the air. Mm. You probably need water too, he said. Oh my gosh, with the hose? The dog floated to the front door. Woof, he barked. Woof, blah, blah, complained Mr. Raisin. I have to take you for a walk too. Funny balloon, said Agnes Withers. Not a balloon, a dog, barked Mr. Raisin. Your kite needs a longer tail, said Mr. Poots. Not a kite. A dog, grunted Mr. Raisin. Arr. There goes naughty Mr. Raisin, said Miss Stringle. Blah! blah. Yeah, it's my blah. Sorry. Blah, blah. said Mr. Raisin. <laughs> he went back inside. Mr. Raisin wasn't used to having company, but the dog stayed out of his way most of the time. Look at him up there, he's holding the thread for him. At night, he was a terrible blanket hog. <laughs> Look at him. It's way up in the air. But as time went by, Mr. Raisin thought less and less about getting rid of the dog. <clears throat> I guess you will need a name, he said. I will call you Bloody. Mr. Raisin chucked at the silly name. chuckled at the silly name. He hardly ever chuckled. Oh, he loves him. One morning when they were out for a walk, the leash snapped. <gasps> Floaty floated away. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. What's going to happen? we got to get him back. Oh, he's sad. Mr. Raisin is sad. The story. As Floaty disappeared into the clouds, Mr. Raisin realized how much he loved his dog. Oh, Floaty floated for days and nights. How could that happen? Back at home, Mr. Raisin set up balloons carrying food in case his dog floated by. Oh. The food never found Floaty, but he didn't go hungry. <gasps> Look at him. Mr. Raisin moved to his roof. <gasps> he searched the skies day and night for his little dog. Oh, Floaty floated farther and farther away. <sighs> Mr. Raisin climbed down from the roof. <gasps> Floaty dreamed about home. Mr. Raisin sat in his chair and sewed. He doesn't look very happy. Why 
one night a big storm came along. Lightning and thunder exploded all around the dog. Oh my gosh! Just then a voice called from overhead. Up here, Floaty. Mr. Raisin lowered his freshly sewn hot air balloon <laughs> and scooped up his dog. Oh, Gigi's gonna cry. That's the best. Blah, he said. You're not too much trouble. You're just the right amount of trouble. Yay! The end. The end. That was a good story. Good story. <laughs> We're going to hide it in your room somewhere so that when you come home and you want to read it, you're going to have to find it somewhere in your room. Miss you lots, baby. Bye. Love you. Bye, honey bunny.